Welcome to this introduction to the Global Trade Tracker database. Global Trade Tracker covers traded commodities worldwide and can be accessed for free in the Small Business Research and Enterprise Center with either our free membership or our subscription membership. Subscription members can also access this database remotely. To access it, click on the heading Data and Resources and then access to SBREC online databases. When using any of our databases, please always be aware of the terms and conditions, which we'll find underneath the folder headings. For subscription members, accessing it remotely, click the top folder where you will need your login details. When you're in the center, you will find Global Trade Tracker in both the statistics folder and the import and export folder. Simply click on the heading to open up the database. Immediately under the title, you will find some tabs that give you a range of options. Support will give you further videos on specific areas of the database. And country coverage will tell you which countries are covered and when they were most recently updated. Work your way down the screen, making selections most relevant for yourself. I'm going to start with my reporting countries and I'm going to select Great Britain. As you start to type, you will see prompted suggestions. Click on that or those that are relevant for you and then move over to the right where you will find this drop down option gives you further selections. I'm going to leave it as exporting to and the partner countries, I'm going to select some individual countries. If you make a mistake, you simply click on the X to remove the country that you don't want. So next down, we have the HS codes. HS stands for Harmonized System, and this is an internationally recognized coding system for commodities. You don't need to know the code, you can use a keyword. And again, as you start to type, it will prompt you with some suggestions. Click as many or as few that are relevant for you. And as before, you can click on the X to remove any that you don't want. Moving down the page, we then come to the time period. On the left hand panel, you will see where it has default to. So you can change this. And for this example, I will want to look January 2019. To 2022. Underneath this, you will also see the option of whether you select the value, quantity, and price. Once you've made your selection, click the orange button generate report, and the results will appear on the bottom of the screen. To make this more readable, over on the left hand side, you'll see a blue box. If you click on that, it expands the grid to the full screen. And here you have your data. In both the left hand column and also the right, you will see a range of options for changing the layout of the data. If, for example, my left hand side, I want to list it by the individual codes. You will see as I click that it's broken it down into the individual uh, HS codes. I can further drill this down with a little plus sign if I wish to do so. In the right hand panel at the moment, it's showing me my years with the total, then it's broken it down into the individual years. However, if I then want to look at partner countries on the top, I click partner countries. And again, it's giving me the total. And then the individual countries. If you wish to export this list, use the button above the statistics and export it into an Excel spreadsheet. I'm just going to minimize this box so that I can see my search screen again. 
If you find that you want to change your filters and your selection, then you can do so. You will see that once you've done that, you do need to generate the report again as that button has turned orange. So if, for example, I wish to remove one country, but add another one. I can do so and then generate report and it gives me my new statistics. If you have any questions about this database or any of our databases and services, please email us at sbrec at cityoflondon.gov.uk. Our contact details are also on our homepage. Thank you for listening.